I actually recorded, I would say, 80% of um, Circa 91 the summer of 2017. So this is like maybe three, four months before the release of the album. And in one of those sessions, I, I was recording in um, the Beat Rock studio, which is um, down in Inglewood. Um, mm -hmm. Shout out to Fat Gums. Um, I was at, I remember I was at Fat Gum Studio and um, we were recording the the classroom skit um, one evening. It was like seven o'clock at night, and then all of a sudden Fat Gums um, he leaves and he's like, "Oh, my friend just got here." Um, he said, "Is it cool if, if she comes in and 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 watches and says hi?" I'm like, "Okay, that's that's fine with me." And me and my friend, um, shout out to Paula V, who did the voice for the teacher. Um, you know, we we were just in the booth. You know, um, we were trying to get the lines together, um, and then. I think 15 minutes passed, we're like, the friend didn't come here yet. And then it was already dinner time. And then we're like, me and Paula V were like, let's get back to the house. Um, so if Fat Gums has a, like a, in his backyard, there's a separate building, which is where he built his own studio. So we leave that studio to go to the main house. And right there sitting at the dining table is Ali Wong herself. And I remember the first <laughs> thing that happens is me and my friend, like we, we make eye contact, we're like, we, we kind of established like this this kind of communication between the two of us. We're like, bitch, don't talk. Like, this is serious right now. So, <laughs> like, we sit down and then, um, you know, Ali Wong extends her hand out. She's like, hi, I'm Ali. Nice to meet you. She's like, I'm such a big fan of your music. I love all your stuff. And then I'm, I shake her hand back and I'm thinking, I know who you are. Like, you're, you're fucking huge. Like, I <laughs> all of your, your comedy specials. Like, such a big fan. My heart was racing. And um, the reason why I bring that up is because two years later, or yeah, two years later, 2019, um, January of 2019, she was filming, or she was finishing the fil filming of um, Always Be My Maybe. And mm -hmm. she contacted me through Fat Gums and um, asked if I would be down to create a song for the film. And, um, you know, they, they basically, it was supposed to be for a specific scene. They, they told me, you know, what, what the scene would be about. And, and so I wrote to it. And I remember thinking too, like, obviously, you know, the, the film is centered on this relationship between um, these, these two friends. And it's obviously, you know, a love story. And I was like, damn, I haven't written a love song in like so long. Like I've, I've been so used to just, you know, talking about culture, talking about, you know, fuck the government, talking about, <laughs> like, it's very like aggressive stuff, right? Um, and so I kind of had to take a step back. I remember even like hitting up some of my friends. I was like, "Have you ever liked someone before? And how did you feel?" And they didn't. And they didn't feel the same way because I've never experienced. I've never been in that um, situation before mm -hmm. where you know I had a crush on someone, but they didn't. They didn't like me back um, because you know I'm just playing. Um, <laughs> <laughs> she got the ring. She got the ring. <laughs> um, but. Um, yeah, yeah. So uh, we, we we actually did the track within three days. Um, shout out to OJ, the producer who who did the beat. Um, we got it back to them, and unfortunately, like they were already actually wrapping up the film, um, and and so it didn't make it in time in, in the deadline. So it's not mm -hmm. actually in the movie, but um, you know, like Ali Randall, they're they're so sweet. They've been so nice. Um, they they posted the the track. They shared it also on all their pages, and you know, shout out to them. And by the way. Um, Big, big, big shouts to Randall, who is part of WandaVision, which is my favorite show right now on Disney+. Plus. There we go. Actually is in one of my skits on Circa 91. He's the voice of the um, the the record label dude on the last skit on the album. Randall Park? Randall Park. Fun fact, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to Randall and Ellie for sure.